Hello everyone, this is Damon with PixNub Software, and this is just a quick video for the new green on green recovery system that we have. You can either launch this from the menu item or from within Easy Green Screen. If you're launching it after Easy Green Screen, just make sure you have the full layer stack output from Easy Green Screen and not a single layer. So to start, I'm just going to um, run this. It's going to ask you to do two things. First, to make a quick selection of the screen. Just grab something that represents the screen color well. Only make one rectangle selection and not two. Then it's going to ask you to lasso around the area that needs recovered. Just make a loose selection. You don't have to worry about getting right on the edges, but just only select what you need. That will minimize your cleanup when it's done. So when it launches, um, right now I've got the default settings in here. If you change settings, you can get back to the defaults just by clicking enter defaults and you can also have it um, remember the previous settings that you use so if you're doing a batch you can load the same settings up each time now you can recover about 80 to 90 percent of your situations as long as the green is not too close to the screen color and this one the defaults work pretty well the two adjustments that you'll typically want to adjust is the hue threshold and the um, dark greens threshold and sometimes the bright greens but if we remove the hue threshold too low, you can see that some of the screen is coming back into the image. That's because what this is telling it is um, anything that is more than one degree away from the average screen hue, um, recover that area. And some of these areas are more than one degree away from the average screen hue from that selection we made. And if your screen hue is too high, if you're, um, well in this case, what this is doing is the, um, the hue of the shirt is within 23 of the selection we made, so that's not being recovered. And if we go all the way up to 30, you can see that um, all of the shirt pretty much is 30 degrees or less from the screen hue, so it's not being recovered. Usually the default value works fairly well, but just adjust it as needed. Now there is one area in here where I can see that wasn't recovered, and that's a dark green area, and I believe that it could be recovered with hue, but that makes it a little bit jaggy. Usually I like to stick with the default on hue if I can, um, but the dark greens can um, because what this um, dark green threshold is doing is it's recovering areas that are darker than the screen or less saturated than the screen. It's really a green intensity more so than just a darker light. And the bright greens works the opposite way. I'm going to um, turn the hue threshold and the dark greens down just so we can see. Let's zoom back out here. Now what this does is recover areas that are bright and or more saturated than your screen. If you go too far, you see it brings the screen back in, but if you have a green situation where the green is brighter and more saturated than the screen, you can recover it with this or certain areas of the clothing with this. In the case of this extraction or this recovery, all I would have wanted to do was probably increase that dark greens to bring that small area back. Hit apply. And then um, from there you um, can touch up and this mask here in this top layer, this is the area you selected when you told it what area to apply this to. And when we made that selection we included areas of the skin so it brought back some green fringing so if you Turn that off, you can see there's a little bit of green fringing back in the skin. So all I would do is grab a black brush and go right over the edges and paint that off so that removes that. And all I did there was change the area that this is being applied. If there were areas in your screen, or not in your screen, in your um, jersey that needed recovered, like if this green was too close to the screen and it couldn't recover it. You go to this mask on here, the green recovery layer, 
then you just grab a white brush and paint right over that. So I know that seemed like a lot, but I'm just going to demonstrate this real time if I was to run, run this um, without having to explain anything, see how quick this actually is here. And once you get good at this, it's about 15 seconds in image tops for most images. And you see that it remembered my last setting, so I don't have to change anything. You see it missed a part there? That was because when I lassoed, I did not actually grab it all. But not to worry. All I have to do is go into the green recovery area because that area is already included in the mask it made for the recovery, just not in the area I selected. So highlight that, grab a white brush. There you go, pretty quick and easy. Anyway, if you're interested at all in the green on green recovery system and easy green screen, please be sure to visit our website that is picksnub.com.